For 28 years, Plaza Latina has been in existence. Located here on Mill Van Drive, this mall is home to more than 35 businesses from 12 different countries. People come here with their kids, they sit around, they can see, they run around, and this is, this is our, let's put it this way, a little city from where we come from. We have kitchens from Ecuador, Colombia, Chile, Peru, Salvador, Cuba, we have a bakeries, hair salon, we have a barbers. In the food court of this mall, you will find Martha Quintero and her shop called La Fuente del Puro Sabor. Martha and her natural juice shop have been a staple in this plaza since its inception. Plaza Latina started uh, 1994. Uh, I started three months after they opened it up. The 61-year-old moved from Ecuador to Canada when she was 10 years old, got married here, had kids, and started this business. Monday to Friday, it's myself. Saturday and Sunday, I bring my daughter. She gives me a hand. But uh, when I started, it was the whole family here. My kids will help me pick up the glasses, put the chairs, tables in, help me bring the uh, fruits. Most of the customers, now they have their own kids and they bring their own kids. During the holidays, uh, we have people that come in from Hamilton, Barrie, Newmarket. Uh, this past weekend, we had people from New York. Martha says a popular item on the menu is her pineapple mango juice. Pineapple, papaya, mango. I do the green juice and, all the, and, and anything to do with natural juices. This is what we use to do the drink. Either put sugar or no sugar, depends on the customer's taste. There is pineapple and mango. Oh my God, that's so good. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you. Now we're gonna show you another place called Comedor Popular Ecuadoriano. This Ecuadorian restaurant in the food court of Plaza Latina is owned by Tito Gallardo. It's a business that's been in the family for years. I took over my, uh, my uncle, so he retired. and. So I, um, I, I took over. I, I was working in another place. At, uh, uh, I was the executive sous chef at the Islington Golf Club. I was there for God, um, 22 years. Wow. And then one day I said, you know, the opportunity came in. My uncle said, you know what, I want to retire. I can't do this anymore. So I said, okay, why not? So I give it a try and, and be here 12 years. Tito, his wife, aunt, and uncle all work here, cooking a long list of different dishes. It's a fried rice, but uh, we do it differently. So it's chicken, beef, and shrimps, and vegetables, and egg, and everything with some soya sauce. And it, it, it's really, really good. We make soups. That, that's the cow feed soup. We have, we have chicken noodle soup. We have beef stew. We have the beef soup. And then we have the shrimp soup up here. And then we have frijoles, like you mentioned, the menestra. Yeah. So that's uh, for the lunch specials that, uh, that they ask. So they come and order anything from the menu, and they will say, oh, can you throw some menestra on the side? Sure, absolutely. OK, let's talk about food. Oh, my what God. What are we going to make? We're going to make you some empanadas, OK? Woo! Yes. These are the, our famous empanadas. Oh my God, yeah. so um, And the cheese. Tito mm. says people come from not only different parts of the city, but country to eat at his place and the other restaurants in this food court. But what he likes the most about being here is the family atmosphere. The whole plaza here, Plaza Latina, is, is like a family for everyone. I mean, we, this is the only thing we have. So we, we try to help each other and, and, uh, and we're doing great. To find out more about Plaza Latina, there's a link to their Instagram page on our website, citynews.ca, under extras. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.